episode 70 of the O the Anthem podcast. This week we talk about Dr. Dre's new album dropping. We talk about James Holmes avoiding the death penalty. We say goodbye to Jon Stewart. And we talk about a secret plan that the GOP might use in this upcoming election. I just came up with a devious plot. Okay, shit. Uh, everybody stop listening. This is just a conversation between me and the GOP. Okay. Just the leadership of the GOP. So everyone, I'm expecting you to turn your volume down. Okay, I think we're clear. Girl. Okay, yeah. Nobody's listening. All right, GOP, it's me. It's Corey. If Trump decides to launch a third-party campaign and he's taking away the, the votes from your uh, from your uh, candidate of choice, let's just say Bush, and you're worried that Trump is going to take the votes that would allow Bush to win and just leave an un, like a totally open Democrat to just reign against the two of them, just start pumping money into like Kanye West as president. Just take all that super PAC money and just give it to Kanye West to run for president. Because you know he's going to run as a Democrat. You and know he's going to get a lot of stupid people to vote for him. And, he- and then you might even out the... <laughs> if you have a four-way stupid person race, it's anybody's game then. That's it's true. That might work. And how good would debates be with Kanye oh. West and Trump? Oh my god. With, like, Hillary Clinton and Jeb Bush on stage. Them trying just to like just, like, keep it professional. And yeah. Kanye's like, I'm Yeezy. <laughs> Megan Kelly, I just don't think you respect my genius. <laughs> Yo, Trump, Trump, Trump. I'm going to let you finish, but let's be honest. I'm the richest man on the stage. <laughs> Trump, Trump, I'm going to let you finish. But, uh, Ross Perot put up the best third party nomination of all time. Oh, oh. So that's it. If you want to see a whole lot more, go to ohtheanthem.com for episode 70. Like the Facebook page while you're here. It'll only take a second.